What's up boys and girls, Tweety here. We are on my test server. We're doing another beekeeping tutorial. And today we're going to go ahead and get those diamond bees. Uh, my position has changed about using the master apparatus database. Although it may be uh, a little cheaty, um, you're not going to be doing, you know, nuclear physics without learning how to do it, right? So, um, and you're going to do that by looking stuff up. So, what we're going to do is we're going to look up how to make the diamond bees. Diamond bees, resulting mutations. So, Imperials, we have those. No problem, right? We're going to make sure to check the chance, 5%. means that it's done here in the overworld. We need Sapphire which is ocean and emerald, 5%, so it's done here. Uh, ocean is a water and a common. <coughs> Excuse me. This is where it kind of um, gets tough, because if we look at the water, the further mutations, right, we have resilient in a water, that makes her lapis, right, which we need to make our emerald. There's only one, right? But if we look at water and common, uh, water and so there's one, two, and where's the other third one? Three. Is there any more water and commons? No, they're just those three. These have a 10% chance of happening as well as this having a 12% chance. So it could take you a long time to actually get what you're trying to get. Because it's a water and a common, you have three different possibilities that could happen, and you might not get the ocean. But uh, anyway, so I went ahead and spent some time and did that. So. Okay, and let's also look at uh, what else we need. Oop. For the uh, diamond. Diamond, diamond, diamond. Uh, diamond, uh, diamond, emerald, diamond. Resulting mutations. Alright, uh, sapphire, ocean, emerald. Emerald is lapis and noble. Makes the emerald 5% chance. Lapis is resilient in water. So. We've done that, or I've done that off camera, and we've gotten our emerald, and we need our ocean, right? And uh, because it's the only mutation, this should be exactly what we want. This is the sapphire. Let me run over here to our imperials, because that's what we need next, I believe, if I remember right. Um, let me just make sure. Don't want to do this for nothing and have to start all over again. Sapphire and Imperial. Yes. Okay, so now we have our Sapphire. And we have our Imperial. And we should be getting our Diamond B from this. Oops, I didn't want to, I just wanted to move that over, but I guess I can't do that in there. Well, that's doing this thing. I want to talk a little bit about uh, some of the stuff that I found out on the uh, Pixelitarium server that I'm on. Um, as with my sorting system, this is a basic setup of my sorting system. I actually have a, a uh, ender chest and a, a uh, sorting machine, and that sorts the ores and stuff to go smelted and, you know, does, does all this stuff. But uh, I found out that you can put in any princess and any rock drone into a filter and no matter what that happens to be when it goes in uh, it will go in to the filter which is pretty nice so you can have this you know go down to wherever you do your uh, your bee stuff or wherever you want and it also helps with the quarry because uh, it'll come in through the quarry because the quarry still break the hives 
and give you the the drones and princesses out of it. So this is very nice. I guess uh, I don't know if it actually does like a uh, queen. Let's check to see if a queen will go through. Um, this should be done. Our diamond bees. Diamond princess. Diamond drone. There we go. We have them. Let's see. Uh, I'm sure I have some queens here. Hardy queen. Now, if we... I better grab another queen. Down in there. Rocky queen. That'll work. Okay, so... If I'm thinking right, it doesn't distinguish between uh, different species. It just says princess, drone, go in, um, which it did. It said, now it's saying queen. So if we put a queen in here, let's actually put the rocky queen. And if we put another queen in here, now it's going to say, oh, queen, go into the filter. It doesn't necessarily say, oh, we need to have make sure it's a rocky queen or a rocky princess or a rocky drone, whichever you have in your filter. So that's really all you need to have in your filter for it to filter out every single bee that you could put into the, the system. So... Um, and talk about some other stuff. The uh, some of the things I believe have changed with the uh, Thomcraft um, bees, the Thomic bees. Um, I still haven't really checked out most of the stuff, but I know that these node uh, queens are supposed to draw the uh, node to them attract the node to him, um, which I haven't seen yet, so I'm sure that it's just because this node is not close enough, maybe. Um, but anyhow, um, with that, um, I'll go ahead and end the episode. There's not a whole lot else to talk about. So like it if you like it, dislike if you didn't like it. Uh, leave me a comment, let me know what you liked or didn't like about it. And we will see you in the next beekeeping tutorial or in one of my other videos. Um, have a great day. I'm out of here.